so this college email is crucial because with college email, that's how a lot of our communications are going to work with you if you want the optimal experience for Teams. Um, so what happens is you would sign in to your normally, depending on how your tutor is configuring your class, either you're going to get an email like you got from me today, which says click on the link. OK, and then it goes to Teams and gives you some options, launch on web or sign in. Now, if you were to download the application, the Teams application, and that's available, you'll see a link further below for that. When you download Teams, it asks you for a sign in and password there. OK, so it's preferable that you do use this information there also. OK, the same information for your college email is the same information for your college Teams account, same password, username system. OK, and if you ever want to look at your college email to test it, to know you've got it working, yeah. the first time you click on the link here. We do that now. Yeah. Um, yes, you can do it now. Um, you can do that now to try it out. Yeah. And some of you might have the experience of being able to get there and find it. You should be because you got into Teams. Those of you who are guests and don't know your IDs won't be able to do that yet. OK, so I don't want to frustrate, frustrate you. So that's how you log into your email. Once you've got into your email account, it looks like Outlook, right? Just give you a, a picture of how it might look. OK. So you see here this example of how this interface looks for you. When you logged into Outlook email, you'll see an inbox like this. And you'll see some dots in the top left hand corner there. OK, there. And your inbox, your messages will come into this window in this this way and you'll see a um, an invitation in that inbox. OK, and the invitation is. Something like um, an appointment, which is a set time and date for your teacher, for your class. So your teacher will send you an email to this inbox yeah. and, it, and it will say um, something like schedule and time, and it will be a link saying join Microsoft Teams meeting below. OK, and there'll be a, a link for you to click on and that will then open it up for you. OK, mm -hmm. so it's, it's via your email. You get sent your appointments to your class. Oh, right. That's one way into it. That's one way into it. So normally that's the procedure. And when you get like a class, which is maybe a number of weeks that repeats so every week, you've got another class happening, then um, the teacher will set up so it's like will continue to be available. So the first time is the hardest, and after that it becomes quite straightforward, and you know what you're doing. Yeah. 